Welcome to another one of our Solar Journey videos. This is our first month report. We just got our bill in yesterday, so let's get busy. Before we go through the month, let's look at our additional comments. On 1024, the solar company contacted us and scheduled a launch meeting for the uh, 25th of November. So I'll keep you guys posted on that to review warranty and overall service contract. It's all going to be done by video conference, so I don't have to leave the house. Just a quick recap for the month. We had a total cost savings of $42.55. We produced a little bit over 1,238 KWs. For billing purposes, we were only billed for 461 kilowatts, as you can see down here as well. The objective for this tab here on our Excel spreadsheet is so we can get paid back our $31,829 that we paid cash. Keep in mind, $9,549 I'm going to get as some of my tax write-offs for this year. So that brings down the total of $22,280 that we have to track. Now, as you see on the right-hand side here, you'll see the 25-year, 20-year, 15 year and 10 year. Now our system's warranted for 25 years. Now if we got paid back in cost savings and everything of 70 about $75 a month in 25 years would be paid off the $22,280. Now in the 20 year period of $93 would be paid off in 20 years. $124 of savings each month would have it paid off in 15 years. And 186.85 would be paid off in 10 years. Remember our objective here is to get paid back what we paid for our system. And this is very critical to your cost savings analysis because you want to know when you're going to recoup these costs. Remember, our original price was around $40,000 for the system, but because we paid cash, we only had to pay $31,829. So for the first month here, our first bill came in at $63.16. Now that also includes, if you look over here, it includes $9.95 fee not achieving 1,000 kilowatts in a given month. Now this contract runs out in January. The lowest rate currently that I see is at 15.5 cents per kilowatts for Texas. So we'll see what happens between now and January, which is a 37% rate increase. So we're going to achieve these cost savings a lot quicker. You know, going through the month, yes, the bill was $63.16. It's the lowest it's ever been since I lived in this house. Our cost savings was $45.75. As you can see there, I placed it down for the 25 year. So I see the cost savings staying the same for the next couple of months until January, until we change our contract. Just wanted to share this with you. We're going to track this puppy here so you understand how we're recouping our costs for our system. Now please place down below any feedback that you might have or tell us how your solar power is doing for you where you live to share it with others. Maybe solar is not great for some people versus other people. Until next time, folks, it is sunny. I'm out.